Hey guys, uh, just want to talk to you for a few minutes about austere August because I'm going to be doing the uh, process through the entire month of August. I'm going to be using the same setup, including including the same blade, my venerable Nasset that has 302 shaves on it already. So that'll be interesting. And I uh, just wanted to have a video explaining it so that I could point folks who have questions about what austere August is uh, to this video and hopefully it'll help them to understand. It is a contest. A it's officially you don't win anything except for honor of your fellow shavers who are doing the same thing. Uh, you you often win knowledge and experience and education as you learn hopefully something that you didn't know before. There are side challenges away from the official um, honor system based uh, competition, and it's uh, they vary. Last year, and I participated in this one with chiseled face. I used the same aftershave and soap the entire time, and I also, of course, used the same blade, razor, brush, and all that. And Stephen Joyner sponsored that, and he gave custom brushes to those people who completed that challenge. So there are side challenges, and there, there are some this year. Stephen did another one with Midnight Stag. It's different, slightly different rules this time. Uh, and there's another one, I believe there's one about unscented, shaving with unscented products the entire time. I believe there's one, uh, no, I can't remember any of the other ones. I think there's maybe one or two other side challenges. And you can get on Reddit, the Wet Shaving subreddit, to... Uh, and look for the austere August uh, post. By the time you see this, it might be too late, though. But um, you, it's since it's a casual, informal competition, you could even join halfway through if you wanted to. The uh, And to participate, you have to pick something about your shave that you use consistently for the entire month of August. Pick a thing. Your soap. So use the same soap for the whole month. Uh, and that is a kind of a basic mode. And then that could help you to learn that particular soap. If you're having trouble dialing it in, kind of commit to restrain yourself from trying out all your other soaps for a month. And then by the end of the month, I am sure you're going to be able to dial it in real easy and you'll be able to know the best qualities about, about that soap. And maybe the worst ones too. Uh, you could also use the same uh, whole suite of products. You could use the same soap, brush, razor, blade, and aftershave for the entire month if you wanted to do that. And then anywhere in between, same soap and brush all month, whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. It's all, uh, like I said, honor system. You get, to, and then you can, on the daily threads, there'll be a um, austere August daily thread, SOTD thread on the wet shaving subreddit for you to post your um, your shave of the day. And it could be, same as yesterday, it could be all you say as you type out your, your, your stuff. Copy and paste is your friend there. Um, or you could provide your insights on what you discovered. Like, uh, this brush is proceeding nicely. It's getting softer and softer, you know, that sort of thing. Or, uh, wow, I just overwatered the soap today and tomorrow I will try to do something a little bit different. Or I'm halfway through this August thing and this soap still sucks. Anybody, can anybody recommend something for me to try? And so that you can read other people's responses as well, read their posts and see what they're working through and trying to get better at. Uh, sometimes it's just a self-discipline of picking something and going with it and just relaxing and enjoying and not worrying about what you're going to choose from one day to the other. Uh, sometimes, like in my case, I have a bore brush that I'll be using. It's only got about 10 uses on it. This is a Smoke Owners Club Taj handle, and it only has 10 uses, and I'm going to put another 31 on it. So I expect it to be quite different at the end of the month than it is at the start, since bores do change like that. I will be using my Nasset blade that has a lot of uses on it. And right now, this is a wonderful little razor that handles that Nasset quite well. It's the um, Fatip. It's got the Piccolo handle. This is the open comb base plate. That's the same as the Grande base plate. 
This is the special edition that comes with the closed comb base plate as well when ordered from Connaught Shaving. And this black surface here is a really strong coat of whatever product they use to, to, uh, to color it. It's very strong. I, I think people are reporting that the gold may not be as wear resistant, and maybe that's something I find out at the end of the shave. But for 28 bucks, it's a really hard value to beat because it is lifetime quality. The plating on the gold may wear away, but underneath is brass, and that will last for many generations if uh, treated anywhere close to a reasonable level of cleanliness. So uh, looking forward to using that guy with the Nasset. Uh, the soap I am gonna be using is Martin de Condre, MDC. And the scent that I have on that one is Vetiver. And I do like that scent quite a bit. Matter of fact, it might be the only one that MDC has that I, that I do like. It's a honker of a glass jar. I tell I think it's a poly jar. And it's pretty much new. I have used it a few times. I am so curious, and this is another reason for austere August. I want to know, after 30 uses, what this looks like. Will I, how much of a difference will I be able to tell? I have weighed it before the start of austere August, and so I will weigh it through the course as we can see a progress graph, and then of course I'll weigh it at the end. And using the magical power of numbers, I will be able to do some subtraction and division and figure out uh, number one, how much product I use per shave, and then uh, knowing how much product is in the jar, oh, it must be on the bottom, 200 grams of product in the jar, I can then figure out how long this expensive tub of soap will last me. If it lasts me something like three years, then it's not really an expensive tub of soap when you look at how many uses you get. And so that's what I'm really curious about. So to satisfy my curiosity, I'm going to be using this for the whole month. It's also a wonderful lather. I really enjoy it. So that's another reason. So for me, usage amounts plays into my desire to choose that soap for austere August. So that's why I do that. And um, so I'm curious about what the bore, I'm getting some uses on this bore brush and the soap. Uh, and then why not put some more uses on my, my old Nasset. It's got 302 uses on it at the moment. Uh, so some other reasons that one might participate in austere August. Um, I wrote down just a few. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I will use a soap or think about using a soap that uh, doesn't have a great reputation in the uh, shaving world, but it's a good soap. And... Uh, Sometimes I will, uh, people will use it to develop their skills with technique. If you use the same suite of products every day, then the only variable is your own lather making skills and your, te your shaving technique. And so that can really help you uh, to refine your technique and get better. Because when you're switching blades and razors and soaps, there's just so many variables there. It's hard to tell which thing is responsible for uh, your your lack of a good shave. Uh, let's see, sometimes it's fun to show off a new base. Uh, if you have a, a soap base that, uh, you know, not a lot of people know about, I was thinking about, you know, the milk steak base or, uh, you know, Excelsior from Barrister and Man or something like that. Um, so there are some underrated soaps. I kind of mentioned that. I considered using Sudsy Soapery, uh, Mystic Water Soaps and Lisa's Natural uh, Herbal Creations. All those are terrific underrated soaps that just feel so good on the face and do really well. Um, you can also do different techniques. I am normally a bowl lather and I considered face lathering for the entire month to increase my ability and skills with face lathering. Uh, I considered using a straight razor for the whole month. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to incorporate both of those elements into future shaves, just, just not for the entire month of August. And that was really about the, some of the reasons that jumped out to me that I wanted to convey um, and just explain what austere August is. So it's very casual. So the, the practicalities of it is you shave with whatever gear you've chosen and then you go online to the wet shaving subreddit. You look for the austere August 
SOTD thread for the day and you just post what you used and any extra comments if you want and that's all there is to it and at the end of the month you can you will have learned from your other uh, players as to how they have proceeded what they have learned and maybe you've posted and shared your information as well so that is what austere august is about uh, on your honor honor system type type thing and uh, of course if you do a side challenge you have to abide by whatever side challenge rules there are i think stephen with dogwood handcrafts with the midnight stag challenge was saying that he needed uh, photographic proof with each shave you know that kind of thing all right i think that's it i believe i've shown you the products i'll be using for this time and uh and we'll, we'll just see uh, we'll see how the uh, the mdc lathers up i know it does well and we'll see how usage works with that one how quickly we see a little the soak dip um, and we'll we'll watch this brush. It's already at a great place. This bore brush will get even better. The splay should increase, and we should get more split tips, hopefully as well as the bore ages. That's just something that bores do. All right, guys. Well, hopefully I've um, explained it well enough, and uh, haven't been too confusing with my ramblings. You guys uh, take care, and we'll see you in August.